Hello kids, welcome to Math Tutor. Today we are going to see word problems in ratios. I hope you already checked our latest video on ratios. Now let us see some word problems on ratios. First question, Mr. Reeves planted a 15 bean plants and 12 tomato plants in his garden. What is the ratio of bean plants to tomato plants? Kids, let us understand the question. Whenever you are reading a word problem, you have to read the question twice, two times. Okay? Mr. Reeves planted 15 bean plants and 12 tomato plants in his garden. What is the ratio of bean plants to tomato plants? Here, he planted two types of plants and is asking for the ratio of bean to tomato. In ratios, the order is very important. Got it? Now, let us start. Number of bean plants are 5. Number of tomato plants are 12. Now, he is asking for the ratio of bean to tomato. So, bean 5 should come first and then tomato 12 should come second. So, so the ratio of bean plants to tomato plants is 5 is to 12. This is the ratio. Got it? These numbers cannot be simplified further, so we can stop here. Understand? Let us go to second question. In one season, a basketball team won 60 games and lost 20 games. What is the ratio of games won to games lost? So, there is this one season, a basketball team played and has won 60 games and uh, it lost 20 games. It is asking for the ratio of games won to games lost. Got it? So let us start. Number of games won by the basketball team was 60. Number of games lost was 20. Now here the order is important. Games won comes first and then games lost. Can you try kids? What is the answer? 60 is to 20. Games won to games lost. Here if you observe. This is the ratio we got 60 is to 20. Okay. So here 60 and 20 are big numbers. They can be simplified further. Only thing we have to find out is the common factor between them. Is there a 2 comes for both? Yes. 4? Yes. 10? Yes. Here 0 is common in both the terms. Let me first remove 0 here. Now it becomes 6 is to 2. Understood? Let me remove the common 0 here. It becomes 6 is to 2. I go and for the 10th table. Now, here 6 is to 2. Can it can be simplified further? Yes. 2 times 3 equal to 6. 3 will come here. And 1. So, the ratio of games 1 to games lost is 3 is to 1. This is the answer. So, for every one game lost, it won three games. That's a good ratio actually. Third question. The length and breadth of a rectangle are 120 centimeters and 40 centimeters respectively. What is the ratio of length to breadth? So, here the rectangle dimensions were given. Length is 120 centimeters and breadth is 40 centimeters. So it is asking for the ratio of length and breadth. Okay, kids. Now let's start answering. Let us write down the length of a rectangle, which is 120 centimeters. And then breadth of a rectangle, 40 centimeters. As I told you, order is very important. So, the ratio of length 
and then breath. So the ratio of length to breath is 120 is to 40. We got the answer. So the ratio of length 120 centimeters is written here and breadth 40 is written here. No need to write the units, just write the dimensions. So is this the answer? No, because we need to simplify this ratio. Understand? Now, as I told you, you can do directly if you are good with numbers. Huh? You just first remove the zeros from both and it makes 12 is to 4. Can you check which table works out for 12 and 4? 4 table, right? 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 ones are 4. If you see here, 4 is common in both the terms. I can cancel out 4 and thus my ratio is 3 is to 1. Got it? What happened here? First I remove 0 which is common here. It became 12 is to 4 and then out of 12 is to 4 here I wrote took 4 table and 4 will get cancelled as it is common and then my ratio comes to 3 is to 1. Got it? So my ratio of length to breadth is 3 is to 1. This is the answer. Understand kids? Let's move on to the next question. Fourth question are 30, 60, 100, 200 are in proportion. 30, 60, 100, 200 are in proportion. Whenever you do a problem like this, always remember first term, second, third and fourth term. Okay. So this first and second term will be a one ratio. Third and fourth terms will be second ratio. Got it? And you have to check whether all these are in proportion. These ratios are there in proportion means are they equal? Okay, let's check it out. First I have to write the ratios as 30 is to 60. This is my first ratio. And my second ratio is 100 is to 200. Got it? Now, I have to simplify, right? So here, 0 is common. I just removed zeros and wrote it as 3 is to 6. And here, again remove zeros. I got 1 is to 2. Now, are these proportions, are they in proportion or not? One more thing, kids. Can I... Do, can I simplify for the 3 and 6? 3 ones are 3. And I can write 6 in terms of 3. 3 times 2 equal to 6. So my ratio will be finally it is 1 is to 2. Right? Because 3 is common. My ratio will be 1 is to 2. So 30 is to 60, when I simplified further, it became 1 is to 2. And 100 is to 200, it became 1 is to 2. Now, are they in proportion? Yes, it's a big yes. They are in proportion. Got it? These ratios are in proportion. Okay? Let's move on to the fifth question. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 2. If there are 12 boys, how many girls are there? Okay. Again, read the question if you don't understand. The ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 2. Means, for every 3 boys, for every 3 boys, there are 2 girls. 3 refers to boys, 2 refers to girls. Now, if there are 12 boys, how many girls are there? Is it difficult? Let us see. Let me write it out. Ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 2. Okay. Let me keep it visually. So for every 3 boys, there are 2 girls. Okay. 
now number of boys are 12 now suppose there are 12 boys here how many girls will be there let me see we have to find out the number of girls if there are 12 boys right okay let me put up all the 12 boys here 3 6 9 and 12 Kids, getting any ideas how to do this? For every three boys, there are two girls. Remember, for every three boys, there are two girls. Got it? Now, for other boys also, I have to put two girls right here. So, what is the answer? Any guesses? Kids, you are smart. I think you got it. So, for every three boys, I have to put two girls. So, altogether, how many girls are here now? There are eight girls. So, my answer is eight. So, if there are twelve boys, how many girls are there? There are eight girls. Got it, kids? See, for ratios, you just need to visualize. Okay, and do the problem. This is a very simple topic. Let's move on to the next question. The ratio of grapes to oranges in a fruit bowl is 18 is to 3. If there are 24 grapes, how many oranges are there? Okay, here what is there? The ratio between grapes and oranges is given. So, it is 18 is to 3. It means for every 18 grapes, 3 oranges will be there. Okay, first suppose... If there are 24 grapes, how many oranges are there? Let us see. I have grape here and orange here. But I need to have 18 grapes. So I made 18 grapes and 3 oranges. For every 6 oranges, sorry. If for every 6 grapes, there is 1 orange. Right? This is total 18. This is total oranges. Are you getting any ideas how to do this? Suppose there are 24 grapes. How many oranges are there? Okay, see how to use some, do some mental calculation like. Okay, so for one orange, there are 6 grapes. But here 24 grapes are there. 6 times 4 is 24. So, okay, let me do this in your way. So, for one orange, there are six grapes, right? So, if there are 24 grapes, how many oranges will be there? Four oranges will be there. Thank you for watching. Watch out for more videos on ratios. Thank you.